here in um, Buenos Dias. Buenos Dias. All right. You said aloha louder. I want to hear Buenos Dias. <laughs> With, without due respect. Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Representative Presley for her leadership on this issue. I know it's uh, tough uh, of hills to, to um, fill after Carolyn Maloney worked on this for and Jackie Spear for a long time. But it just tells you how we will not be defeated and we will continue the fight no matter what. Because this resolution is for all of us. It's about fairness, it's about justice, and it's about equality. I've been fighting for the ratification of the Equal Rights Amendment ever since I was a young college student. I won't tell you when, but it's been a while. Yet here we are years later still fighting for our rights. Women are behind, in some of the, are behind some of the nation's greatest achievements. We fought for civil rights and voting rights. We broke barriers when it came to running for office. We've helped send men to the moon, and then we went there ourselves. We have forged our paths in history, yet we're still not equal to men under the eyes of the law. As a lawyer and a former judge, I know we can not say that yes, there is equality under the law, until it's in the Constitution. That's right. In the Constitution. All laws emanate from the Constitution. So until it's in the Constitution, then people can just kind of quibble and change and, and you see the ebb and flow that can happen. So we must put it in the Constitution because until it's there, it really is not there. So it's going, we've got to put it in the statutes, we've got to put it in through legislation. This resolution gets us started. This arbitrary deadline is just that, it's arbitrary. This is not about a carton of milk with an expiration date. This is about women's rights. It's about gender equality. It's about making sure that there is truly justice for all, as we say every time we say the pledge. I will continue to fight for every little girl in this country until this gets done. They deserve to be in an America that will embrace their full humanity and guarantee equality. I will not stop till we get it done. With that, I yield to my colleague and friend, Representative Madeline Dean. I'm sorry? I'm going we're just changing the order. Oh, we're so changing sorry. the order. <laughs> yes, okay. Apparently we don't like expiration days, but we like changing <laughs> orders. 